join me on this insane episode of Carter's Life as I push my Lambos to the limit, racing and off-roading them like never before. Stick around because I might need your help covering the repair bills after this wild adventure. Why does this always happen? This is just another check mark, another tally, another Lamborghini leaving the Team Rara house on a flatbed trailer by Aventador. There is a horrible noise coming from the Aventador. It just started a few minutes ago. I didn't know what it was. And now that I'm driving slower, it's horrible. I thought it was a flat tire or something at first. Horrible noise. Absolutely horrible. I'm really worried. This could be like a huge problem. I have no idea. No warnings at all on the dashboard. It's a horrible noise coming from it. Really bad. Just started. Like what? Like a really weird crunch. doesn't change when you're going faster or slower? It's louder when I go slower, but everything's quieter, so it's hard to say if the rumble is wheel speed dependent. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when I was pulling off the exit, I was like, am I like literally driving on my rim? That's the kind of feel that it had. And I was lucky to see that the tires were holding air. What if we keep the car off, put it in neutral, and roll it down the hill and see if it'll make a noise? True, that's that a good can, idea. That could help us get an idea of what's going on. So we're gonna keep the car off. We're gonna put it in. Neutral. I can already hear it. What I'm hearing right now sounds like great. I'm not hearing anything like bad, bad. Let me uh, start her up and see what happens. I think that sounds fine. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I'm gonna try to roll. Let's yeah, just take it easy. Let's see if it, we can get this and not make that noise again. It's a weird. That kind of a, feels like like breaks. a rubbing noise too. This kind of feels like a brake is dragging but it doesn't seem like I'm pulling right. in any particular direction. But then that clunk 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 is really, really scary. Clunk, clunk. Yeah. That That's I feel like is gonna break something. That's a scary one. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that noise? Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh yeah, gosh. what the heck is that? That is really funky. It's like we're going real slow and it is just grinding. All right, so now it's really bad. Yeah. This is why I thought I was on the rim when it first yeah, it came yeah, in slow. That's bad. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything right now? It's grabbing and releasing. Oh, wow. So is it the brake? It's the brake. It's the brake doing something. It has to be. I'm wow. sorry, but now it's starting to get really sketchy. Just get it in the driveway and just leave it right there. What? Oh. So you want me to call that shop and have them check it out? I, I, I bet you they've got it. It's pretty concerning. Gone. Hopefully it's just like, oh, that's just the, you know, little adjustment there. Right. right. But hopefully it's not like... When there's an issue with this car and you push through it, it causes really big exactly, issues. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you want to push through this one. No, I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to tow it. So Aventador is broken. It's broken again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a tow truck coming right now to pick it up. No, what happened to it's it? It's stuck in the yard. For like, is this, it doesn't move? Well, on the way back, it started to like rumble. <laughs> oh, like, no. And I was like, no. is it like the road being rough? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're like on a really rough road, it kind of like vibrates the car. So yeah. I'm doing that. So I figured it was just that. So I kind of was going fast and I took the exit and it started coming down. It started going, go, 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 I thought I was like, pop the tire and I was riding on the rim. Like, it was so bad. Oh my God. So I hopped out of the car right in the middle of the highway, like on oh, the exit ramp. Yeah. And I'm like walking around looking at the wheels to see if I have air in the tires, and I do. Yeah. Like, that's weird. So I, you know, take the exit and go down the, the road to the house, and just go, 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 and I'm like going as slow as I can. It's chunking and grinding, and I'm like, what is going on? No. Yeah. So it's is it drivable at all no. right now? That's yeah. why it's in the grass right now. It's bad. Like we wanted to take it to the garage. We had to tow it. Wow, it and it's yeah. been like, what, less than a like, couple weeks since you got it back? <laughs> I drove it one time, it's the first time I'm driving it since we got it back. Uh, no, why? What's wrong with them? You gotta, you gotta trade it. Uh, you gotta do something weird. with it, It's man. too hype. Okay, so the determination is something, something ain't right. We don't know, it could be the brakes, but there's like a chunk, chunk, chunk which is the most concerning part. The dragging makes us feel like maybe the brakes are somehow dragging in a very odd fashion, um, but the k -k 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 is like really sketchy. Uh, that makes me feel like it's more like differential or drivetrain. Doesn't seem like it's transmission, but something along the driving train of it is just really bad. So we're gonna just leave it right here. We can't even get it to the garage because we don't even want to drive it that much. So we're gonna leave it in the grass. We're gonna get a tow truck. 
take it back to the shop where it literally just was and um, hopefully it's just some easy fix and not a major $60,000 rebuild of sorts. So it would it be good if we had it uh, dropped off with you guys today? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, we can't get closer next week, but yeah, I mean, it's not doing you any good to New York, so. I'll call that guy up and have him uh, pick it up, bring it to you guys, hopefully today. All right, all right, thank you so much. Can you say anything about the problem? He or? thinks this is a, the ABS pump's just going crazy, and that noise you're hearing is the ABS pump just pop, 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 like going crazy. Yeah. And he says he's never seen it with an Aventador, only like older Lambos. He's yeah. like, that, that sounds crazy, but they'll plug it in when it gets there and see what's, what's what. Well, that would be a, an easy problem, I guess, if it's ABS. Relatively. Brake related sounds like a better thing than I was thinking. Yeah, that would just be game over for the car we LS swap it or something. <laughs> yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs>
not even drivable. For some pin, I don't even, that's crazy. Too cool. great. Guys, comment down below if we should upgrade <laughs> to Lambo. Stoked with the call to action. <laughs> I love my call, it's my CTAs. <laughs> CTAs. This is the first documented time I've ever been early. Long time. Early. <laughs> That's unbelievable. And what are we on time to? To figure out what happened to the Lambo Aventador, how much it's gonna cost, and if it's gonna be good to go. We're going to go check it out at the Lambo exotic place that it's at, and uh, hopefully drive it home today, as long as uh, it's fixed and it doesn't cost like way too much money. to Carolina exotic cars. Moment of truth on the Lambo. I don't see it. Look for a rainbow holographic car. Yeah, oh, I it see is. it. Yeah. Oh, there's a glimpse. There she is. The Team Roar Lambo. Hope it works. Windows down. How you doing? I'm good. Charles, right, what do you got? What's the damage report uh, here? There's not much. 1973. Okay. 15 cents. That's not bad. 15 cents. 1973 to get it going. There we go. That place parking brake caliper. That's the biggest, biggest piece. Left rear parking brake. Replace parking brake caliper. All right. That's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, it was either going to be really bad or not so bad. Yeah. Based on how it was yeah. sounding. So see you guys. Luck. All right. Thank you. Sounds good. I'm hoping Take I don't care. have to see you All too right. often we'll with that car. All right. We'll see you guys on Saturday. Yeah. Sounds good. So it's a crazy thing, but the only problem with the car was the parking brake broke off. But because of the way it was still hanging on, I don't remember which one it was. was I think it was. Side? I envisioned it being this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. look at the wheel. It was definitely this one. You can see the, the marks. Oh, it says a little. Oh, what? Oh, uh, so the rim technically has more damage. So we're not out of the woods fully. Well, maybe yeah, that'll buff off a little bit. Oh, it might. It might clean up a little it bit. Might clean up a little. I'm gonna point it out to Mario. See what he can do. But yeah. oh, he's worked some. Man. He worked some magic on the grass. So, so it was this. Yeah, that's what broke. So one of those pins broke and then it was kind of and flapping. It was, it was probably and like probably like it's, something wild. Yeah, it's crazy, but luckily I think we made it out okay. Basically two grand. It could have, I guess it did damage the rim and powder coat a little bit, uh, but it, it could have damaged this. It could have broke so much more. Oh man, it's back. That's the story, it's crazy. And uh, on to another adventure of this crazy car. Still looks good, wraps doing all right. <laughs> It lives to Aventador another day. Jeez. All right, well, I don't want to hear from you on your way back. I hope I don't have to. <laughs> Woo, look at a little light shining through. That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's see if it starts. If it were to break down, we might as well break down here while I have a ride home. Okay, that's good. Start it up. We are low on gas. Do you remember how much gas was in it? I don't know. I always get scared when I leave it at shops because then I feel like it's always more miles and less gas than I remember. I would really doubt these guys would have been test driving it. Yeah, they're no Lamborghini dealership. <laughs> Lamborghini dealerships love to take your car out to dinner on PCH. I don't remember having 11,000 miles on it. The last I checked, it was 10. <laughs> it yeah, was I remember 10, it was nine. just about to go over. It was just about. You think they drove it like 20 miles type of thing to like make sure it's good? Or? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure they've got some sort of test drive procedure. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't have to bring it back here unless it's a car show. Yeah, only for car shows. That's only for car shows, there, yeah. not for any of this nonsense, but. This week I went to a car show. Everyone there loved the Lambo. As soon as I rolled up, they all flocked towards me. But when I was driving back home, things took a turn for the worse. Life. I'm driving the Lambo and it's starting to rain, which is, uh, should be okay. I mean, we got wipers and whatnot, but ideally you don't want to get these cars out in the weather. And in LA, I can't say I've ever driven this thing in the rain, but you know, it's wet. Yeah, I think it's gonna start dumping on it right now. I don't know, you just never know with this car because sometimes it just breaks when it's sitting, sometimes it breaks when you drive it, and hopefully it doesn't break when I drive it in the rain. Keep you guys posted on this, but it's wet, it's starting to come down, and we are almost out of gas. Uh, I have no idea what just happened. The cop had his lights on, I don't know if he... What is going on right now? Andrew's talking to someone down there. I, I don't know if the cop was trying to pull me over, I was driving very... Like, see. I'm trying to give you guys a look. So Andrew's at the bottom of the garage talking to somebody. I don't know if he's filming on his side to give you guys an update or we'll have to uh, hear a story, but I just went, came back from the car show, stopped and pulled over, hopped out to give Andrew a key so he could get in. He followed me up. Cop was behind me with his lights on. And I was like, yo, Andrew, film. Like, that's crazy. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna have to pull Andrew. I'm not recording right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it's so okay, hang on. This episode would have been so great. Me and Andrew just got done not filming so much, but a cop came and pulled us over or something. Yeah. The cop came up behind Carter and had his lights on, like he's gonna pull him over. And I really thought he'd pull you over. And then as soon as he pulled like, in the garage, he stopped. Turn off his lights and crap. Yeah. Like, oh, nice guy. And I thought I had him on video the whole time. The camera wasn't recording. And then another guy came up and he was like talking to us, like, oh my god, it must have been so, must have been so nice to have a dad. You gotta run. All right, so Andrew wasn't recording, so my commentary is all we got from here. I'm hoping we can find the dash cam. That's our only hope to see. What was going on with that cop? I think the new update with these phones is that sometimes like the camera app glitches out and so like we're mid-record and then it just stops. Ugh, it's been frustrating, but it does happen. It actually just happened to me when I was when Andrew was first telling the story, it glitched out on me and I was like, wait, I'm not even recording. So I have this dash cam and you can see it's currently recording. I haven't really checked to see what it can do, but there's a a cam out the back and then a pretty wide angle interior and outside there's got to be footage of this cop I want to show it to you because it was so weird I'm not really sure what he was doing so let's try to retrieve the footage off of this and see and it was definitely plugged in and recording so we should be good we got the SD card from the camera we're plugging it for the first time I'm really excited to see what we captured we have a lot of, to look at here I also want to see what that cop was doing so here we go this is rolling up to the car show I think I gathered a pretty large crowd. Is <laughs> oh, I bet. Like everyone's starting to run. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at all the kids running out. I wasn't vlogging any of this at all. We have kids, we have Team Rar fans, adults. Oh, everyone's that's going sick. crazy. I was rolling up in this thing. Oh. Everyone's got their phones out. This is probably all over like Instagram and stuff. Wow. Tons of people. I'm just trying to like drive and they're like not giving me much room. Where are you going right now? <laughs> when I rolled up, they said, You're, we're going to put you up here in front of this Aventador. So I had to you know, loop all the way around. And uh, yeah, you know, everyone's just crowding around. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, that's the guy guiding me when I rolled up. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> There's some cool stuff. Yeah. This place is really cool. Here's me rolling up, trying to navigate, and then... And then the swarm. And then I get out, and then the swarm. A lot of people. You can see it on the back. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, here's the angle. Yep, here they all come. Yep. <laughs> Pushing the baby in the stroller. <laughs> Here's dude taking photos of the license plate. All the logos. Oh, he got real close. Oh, everyone taking photos, videos, everyone's hanging around. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see that. The car show is amazing. Super cool to meet all the guys and new people and some familiar faces there. And then what happened after the car show is what we really are here for. Oh, here's the cop. Oh, we found it. <laughs> okay, so I roll up. Let's see a Jeep. You saw your Jeep? I just saw the Jeep. So I pulled right in front of Andrew. We'll see that probably better at the other angle. So I hopped out to give Andrew a pass so we both get into the parking garage together. And I was literally out of my car for like five seconds. You really weren't even blocking the trap. That's not a cop. No, I'm, I'm not Look. off in the parking lane. Yeah. So at some point really soon here, the cop must roll up. Is this the cop? That's probably yeah. good. Yeah. There's the cop with the cop lights. And he starts pulling up. So I was like, Andrew, just keep filming. Like, just grab it, whatever. We'll see what happens camera glitched out wasn't recording this cop was being really strange and I was like what do I do like are you pulling me over should I go like uh, he gave me like a really nasty look and like did something like that and so I get in and I pull in the garage and then I think he left but let's watch it through oh he left I yeah. think that's what happened so that was yeah. the B let's look at the C angle which is on the <laughs> back Oh, caught on camera exposed okay so here we go from the back angle it's a little bit more clear so he rolls up, throws the lights on. Oh, I can't see the cop at all. Dang. And I hop back in and then oh, I go. Oh, he drives away. Yeah, so crazy. I thought I was getting like pulled over or he chased me down or something really weird. I mean, he probably saw you entering the apartment. So I was like, oh, okay, he lives right here. I'm not gonna pull him over. If you were like in a Honda Civic, uh, he wouldn't have turned on his lights. He would have just drove right by. He certainly caught his attention. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was just there more as like an escort. He was like, yeah. oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I don't want anyone hitting this Lambo. Yeah. He's helping you out. Exactly. And then eventually I make it back to the Team Rar house through the gates, down the Team Rar driveway. Man, it's cool to see this thing in action going across the bridge but it's interesting this thing records pretty well i mean that's it's crazy how it records all three at the same time like that it it's is a cool. lot of footage decent quality mm -hmm. definitely functional it's even pretty good at night this is a, another series of the lamborghini countach you haven't seen it for a while because it hasn't been working for a while because 
it's just, you know, it has issues, but it's up and running and it's better than new now that Matt has worked his magic on it. And look how long we haven't driven this thing. I mean, it is dusty, like bad, like really bad. So we're gonna clean it off. And still got marks on the hood from when Bailey tried to hide on it. So yeah, it's something, I don't even know. But what's crazy is I've actually never even driven this car in the state of North Carolina here at the new Team Rar house, which is pretty, pretty wild. It's a long time coming. I mean, it looks great. It's dirty. Granted, yeah, you know, it's very dirty, dusty, but it looks good. It sounds good. It's running better than ever. And actually the only issue was that the fuel pump was bad. So uh, we got that fixed. We fixed the little thing in the wheel that broke on transportation. And it should be like literally 100%. It's the best condition it's ever been in, which is really exciting. You know, it's still dirty, but it is best mechanical and physical shape that it's ever been in since we bought this thing. She's gonna like these North Carolina roads. Oh yeah. I can't wait to off-road it, take yeah, it down to Moccasin. On the roads here. Yeah, the paddle tires on this thing. Oh, yeah. Take it in the mud. Yo, Ryan, what did you do? Get him! Get him! Go, go, go! Ryan, run! Where'd you go, run? Oh, he's so busted. This is exciting. Let's see if this thing is actually gonna start up. Oh, oh it starts right, right up. Sounds like it's misfiring a little bit. What I'm thinking, so one thing, I'm the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put new spark plug cables on and spark plugs, because the ones in it are like really, really, really old. Because it doesn't quite sound like it's running on all cylinders evenly. Yeah, it feels weird right Which now. would usually mean an ignition with a carbureted system. It's got pretty fresh gas in it, I think. So here's what the inside experience is. It's not running perfect, but it is running. We're going to drive it out on the main road for the first time, like ever. Uh, we're in. I mean, you're headroom. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm like, I'm like squishing down a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, plenty of headroom. Yeah, I'm also like that. It, it's a lounger. Like that's just what you get for a headroom. In, oh, uh, oh, oh boy. But uh, you know, we're we're in here. Lamborghini Countach, 1985. I didn't know it had a seatbelt. It's got seatbelts. I guess it does. Oh my gosh, it's such an old seatbelt. It hasn't even been pulled out. <laughs> it works. There it goes. It's been a while. Oh, oh my gosh. And I'm in, in the snowsuit, in a winter <laughs> vortex. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, it's not running perfect, but it is running. So it is see running. Out, see if we can get speed limit on this thing. It feels pretty fast, even all things considered. It's got some pep. Let's not break another control arm. So I'm driving straight, but the steering wheel is like... Yeah, there's some. There's a chance that some of it got misaligned when the control arm got fixed. Like it probably needs an alignment. We're going out to the main road. Here we go. Oh, and there you go. Second gear. We're worried about third. Oh my gosh. Yeah, third gear. Yes, we got it. We're moving. We're in third. We got two cars lined up behind us, but we're not going very fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think we're going 55. I don't know what blinkers work. I don't even know where the blinkers are. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, she needs... She's misfiring a little bit. But we're running! So first, second, and third are pretty findable. I don't know about above third. Yeah, third, above third. I don't even know how to find any gears in this thing. Oh. Oof. That's a control arm. That's a control arm. I can't believe it's, it's working well. Even though it's not running perfect, it needs a tune-up, but... I think a tune-up will tune up and she'll be a daily driver. Oh my gosh, it's staying pretty cool. I mean, it is colder outside. I honestly can't believe I'm driving this thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I was just watching you drive around the parking, uh, the driveway, I was like, I was like, wow, this is, it's really happening. Well, she's doing really good. I feel like I want to drive her a little bit more. I want to fix that misfire before we drive it too much. Right. Well, let's try a uh, from first. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That seems, yeah, it kind of seems like, ooh. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, oh, maybe the, the shifter's like hitting something. The, the connection is like hitting something spinning. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting pulled over. We'll see how this goes. 
license and registration back, okay? All right, thank That's you. That's a speeding ticket for 74 to 60, okay? It's a non-mandatory court appearance. Um, non-mandatory, okay. You, go, you can pay it online if you so choose to, okay. or even request to be dismissed if you want. They might, they might not, I don't know. As long as it's done by this date here, you'll be good to go, okay? Seven twelve. Five amounts at the bottom. All right, sir, grab with me. All right, thank you. 74 to 60 doesn't sound too bad. Officer at the bridge. Uh, I guess they got multiple eyeballs out. I guess so. Yeah. If I go to court and challenge it, you're not going to let me off, right? What's that? I said if I go to court and challenge it, you're not going to let me off, right? It's up to the judge. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good day. There he goes. Sheesh. We took the Lambo out. We're cruising around. And you know, car's looking good and everything's awesome. The problem is that the key fob is dead. So, you know, the key fob is a little thing that unlocks and locks the car. Okay, no big deal. So I figured the key fob pulls apart, right? So you can pull this off the key fob and that's the key. So you can drive the car with the key, right. just like yeah, regular. The problem is to lock the car, we pulled off this piece and we put this in here like this, like crazy. And then we were able to lock the car like this. Boom, car's locked, pull the key out, Thomas, we're good to go. But now we can't unlock it because the key fob's dead and the mechanism's not working. So Bailey's freaking out. What do you want to do? There's one that's cool. We need a battery. Oh, this is what's dead. If it just could charge for one second, bang, we'd be good. It's late at night. We just tried a store that was right around the block, but it turns out it's closed. So we got on scooters. We're riding through the city. We gotta go to CVS that's open till like 12 or something. Yeah. So this is pretty wild, but we just need a little tiny battery. I'm hoping that gets everything what's working. Up, Let's go! <laughs> what in the vlog? Woo! Yo, this is pretty wild. First time ever vlogging in the city, which is... Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but we're in the no-ride zone. The scooters literally are beeping red. We can't go to where we need to go, I guess, because uh, we're going too far to get to the CVS. I just need a button cell so I can drive my car. So I don't know what to do right now, guys. This is actually crazy. Cops are out. We're still like a mile away. So I'm not really sure what to do, guys, but uh, these are not gonna work. All right, scooters are not working. Cops are out. We just have to ride down the hill until we enter the ride zone again. And hopefully that scooter logo will come back to life. And we're gonna have to get in an Uber because they don't let you ride this far. This is not a great night. All right, so scooters didn't work. So we took an Uber, but we finally <laughs> made it. Hope until midnight. We it's have like a couple hours, couple hours to kill. We're hoping we can get this little battery. That's all we need. I mean, you it's called crazy. and checked. They said they had it. They scratch. said. She sounded like she even knew the, like, the code name, so we should be good. She was just lying. Well, moment of truth. Oh. oh, no. Please use the other entrance located in the alley to the right. There's always another thing that messes up. I swear. One step forward is two step back. That's just what this Lambo adventure is on tonight. But look, we have nothing else to do, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it's Saturday. We have Sunday to recover. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be up so late just trying to get this car started so we can go home. We're on an adventure on a new part of town. You know, there's always a silver lining. I think of it like that. I mean, dude, the universe always has something happen for me. It does. They wanted us to explore the CVS. Maybe we'll meet someone, like, important. <laughs> meet someone. Who knows? Hey, boom. Batteries. Boom. Lamborghini key. We gotta pull this down. Either you gotta push this and pull that out. And then this is what's been killing us tonight. That little thing. It's right there. All in good favor. Maybe this. Seven bucks. Seven dollars to make a Lamborghini work? Where is it? Or, okay, I'm like, oh, it's the last one. Universe. Oh, it's the universe. The literally one left. It's literally the last one. All right, Carter. All right, we get it. We get it. Let's go. It's one left. <laughs> I think Carter's not gonna be able to fit this. But that's just my opinion. I have no clue. We're gonna find out right now. Moment of truth. Moment of truth in a CVS in the middle of Raleigh. Okay. Oh, that was a good sign. Yes. We're good. All right. We're Mission complete. All right, so we just got back, and Carter's gonna see if that Lambo will actually open. Two. Your little phone case. Two Lime scooters, two Ubers. Here we go. Oh! oh we can finally go home. It took us an hour. We finally got it, guys. What in the Lambo problems? A little key fob will keep you out of the car forever? Are you kidding me? At least under flash, the lap, the wrap looks insane. Oh my, finally. Yo, the cops are out tonight. I don't know what happened, but he drove by so fast with his lights on. Shit, and filming. I should have been filming. Enough playing around. Oh, 
the truth be told. Finally. If it doesn't start, we ain't going home. And we are finally going <laughs> Let home. Let me drive. It took an hour. No, you're not driving. Yes, no the way. vlog wants to see. The vlog, you guys, if I saw a comment that says hashtag Bailey drives, you'd be driving, but turns out. All right, put hashtag Bailey comment. drives in next video I drive. Next video? Next video. Yes. Right? wants to drive so bad. Oh, yes, I meant to be. Honestly, I don't see a comment. It's up to you guys. If you want if you want to see him drive, <laughs> just comment. We did send it to CBS on a bird and a lime and an Uber for no reason, y'all. Two Ubers. Two Ubers. <laughs> There's something else is gonna happen, I swear. No, yeah, we're gonna get a fat burger and be happy. Happily Char ever after. Burger, hey, hey, let's go. This is a sad day here in Carter's life, guys, because today we're gonna be saying goodbye to the red Lamborghini, and let me show you exactly why. So, we were getting ready to sell the car, and the day that we were taking pictures, getting it clean, making it perfect for the next owner of this car, uh, well, something happened. So Matt was trying to do a startup video, but unfortunately he left it in gear. And so when he left it in gear, when it started, it started rolling down the driveway, and he crashed it into a tree. So basically what happened is after he hit the tree, it caused damage to the front fiberglass bumper, and really ripped it all up. It's quite significant. It's probably about eight to ten thousand dollars worth of fiberglass repair to get it back to the way it was. And there's even more pieces. So if you guys are wondering the extent of the damage, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. I mean, it took quite a hit. All the impact of the entire car as it drove down the hill and into the tree, you know, really tore up. It bent the metal. So all of this, in order to fix this, we had to recreate these fiberglass pieces, the exact shape put it on, do a lot of Bondo and fiberglass body work, and then repaint the entire thing to make it match. And it's beyond my skill level of repair, so we're gonna have to take it to a shop and uh, get this worked out. And that's why we're saying goodbye today. We also have a flat tire to top everything off, so we're not even gonna be able to move the car unless we can get air in this tire, so let's see if we can pump it up in. <laughs> and then the next question is, after we get air in that tire, will it start? It's been sitting for a little while, but I think it should be fine but the battery could be dead, it might have trouble starting, it's an old car, so uh, we'll see. Uh, it's working, the tire's taking air, so that's that's great news. I'm not sure why the tire would have a slow leak, it's not like it was a nail, but it's just an old car. It's an old Lamborghini, old Lamborghini is just high maintenance, a lot of problems, and uh, I think it's just time for the next loving owner of this car to take it and enjoy it and not crash it in the trees. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. The tire held air. Let's see if it'll start. We gotta pull this out. The tow truck is gonna be here, so I wanna have this ready. So I just gotta not do what Matt did. Stop, 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 stop. And I need to make sure it's in neutral. If it's not in neutral, when you start it, it can roll. And I'm gonna put my foot on the brake too, just to really make sure. If it starts to roll on me, it won't, you know, drive into the house. We're in neutral. Just gotta get, get it to start. Uh-oh. Yes! It started. Uh-oh. I think it's gonna start. Uh-oh. It's like about to die, but about to start. Hey, Carter, what happened to, uh, the front of it? Yes, man. <laughs> Have you actually not seen that? I don't know. He did that? that? He hit it? You know what about this? He hit the car? No. No, Matt Norlock drove it into Matt a tree. Matt Norlock? He drove it into a tree. No. Yes, I can't. Matt it. Norlock? I had to go get it fixed though. The tree. Isn't, that's like, how are they gonna fix that? We're gonna move on to the next phase. We gotta pump. Pop the trunk. Uh, the trunk? Trunk? So this is the trunk on the car. I'm got, kind of giving you a full tour of this thing, which is sick. All right, so the trunk opens. Quite a bit of trunk space. Very, you know, I actually do like that about this car. You can actually put your bags or some groceries, whatever, back here. You can go for a road trip. This is also where the, we put the battery. It's really easy to access back here, so we can jump it up. So the reason why it's not starting, if you're wondering, it's not because this car is junky or anything. It's actually extremely well maintained, high quality mechanics and everything, but it's just an older design. It's carbureted, so when it's not driven frequently, you gotta get all the fluids pumping through the systems, and that can just take a lot of cranks to get it going because it's all mechanically carbureted. It's not uh, modern fuel injection, so it doesn't always just start like that. 
but uh, it easily can. You just have to drive it. It's been sitting since the crash, so it's been a few months. So. All right, let's try it again. So once it gets started, it should be fine, and uh, you know, so that's just the nature of one of these cars. Same thing as the Doom buggy as well. There we go. Uh, I gotta pump more gas into it. So by pumping it, if you pump the pedal, it actually starts squirting a little fuel into the carburetor to help it get started when it hasn't been ran for a while. So I'm trying that now, so I think it'll start. Let's, here we go, let's try it. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard to start. Normally it's not. All right, well let's pop the hood, let's use some carburetor starting fluid. carburetors they can be finicky when they're sitting but once you get it going if I were to turn it off try to start it again it'll start tomorrow cold start it'll start it's just when they sit but uh we're good to go it sounds great let's move it all right so this is another challenging part I gotta get it out but there's a pole right there Alright guys, we got the tow truck here, the Countach. Alright guys, <laughs> well, here we go, we're having to say goodbye. Just look how low this is guys, oh my gosh. We might need some more wood. That's literally what we have to do because it's so low and that's also with the bumper ripped off. So it's even lower on the other side, look at that, no way. So we're using the winch right there, you can see it turning, it's pulling this which then pulls the car up and we have all this wood so the bumper will clear and this is also considering the truck is like out the driveway too it's pretty wild to get a car like this that's so low to the ground on a trailer like talk about impractical this is the king of impractical cars all right guys well this is going to be the final the final look as we say goodbye to the Countach well, for now, it's going to come back better, cleaner than ever, and then we're going to be selling it. So if any of you guys are interested in buying this exact car from me, just comment down below. Seriously, uh, I do want to sell it. It's not super cheap, but if you guys are actually interested in, in the market for one of these, uh, comment down below because I'm going to be posting it. You guys will see it for sale soon. Oh boy, here we go. I've seen it loaded up on the truck before, and it's back on the truck again. Oh boy. Make sure the doors are closed. Make sure the trunk is closed. This door is not closed. All right, guys, and it's rolling away. There it goes. It's driving away, but you know, not on the road. It's sitting on a truck, but there it goes. I think this car might have more miles riding on the back of a truck than it does driving itself. And there it goes. Bye, Countach. Bye. The Countach might be gone, but guys, check out the new whip. We got the Porsche color match with the keys. What year is this one? 67. 1967 Porsche 911 or? 912. 912? Oh my gosh, because I've never been in one of these. I've never seen one. Oh wow. This is like one, of, this is basically the same year as the Doom Buggy. Oh wow, dude, this is great. Look at the interior of this. Seats in the back? Oh man, dude, this is sick. Right? This is all like stock original. Stock, stock original, man. Untouched. Oh my gosh. Untouched. Look at how they do the door. What the heck? That's interesting. Oh man. These carburetors. Yep. This is sick. This steering wheel is like a bus. I feel so fancy and <laughs> I feel classy right now. We're getting ready to leave. We're all packed up and I'm afraid the Lambo is not gonna start because it's a uh, dead battery or something. <laughs> I don't even know. I think I left the light on. I left the trunk open all night. Really? So stupid. What do you do to fix it? I gotta charge it. Is it gonna work, Liz? 
10 minutes, we're gonna see if it works. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's not even like kind of struggling, it's just not. I actually had no idea that the key actually fit into the dash. I never noticed that spot right there. It sounds crazy, but no one ever told me about it. So I was always putting it back there. That's kind of hype. Well, guys, it's kind of crazy. We can't get the Aventador started, so I'm leaving it here. Well, I gotta say, it's a, it's a great place to be broken down. Temperature control, it's all locked up with good security. And it's, you know, with some other nice cars as well. So I'm gonna have to come back all the way here. We got it plugged in with the trickle charger so we can uh, let it charge, but we let a light on and the battery is low. Too low to start. You ready to go, Liz? All right. Goodbye, Lambo. <laughs> kiss it goodbye. We gotta kiss the Lambo goodbye. We'll be back soon, I guess. Yep. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so stupid. Bye, Lambo. We gotta say bye. All right, guys, Lambo's gone. So sad. We gotta leave it in Arizona. We got all of these windmills around us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Apple Valley fire up there, guys. All that smoke looks like clouds. Jeez. Millie! Oh, Millie! Hi. You missed Millie. Did you miss Millie? Yeah. Did, or did Millie did, miss did. you? I can, I can keep her. <laughs> was Millie good? She was really good. Really good all weekend. Yeah. Stove did some dog sitting. The dog sitting now. She pooped a lot. She pooped Did a lot. <laughs> she took after me. Did you feed her? <laughs> what? Did you feed her a lot? Yeah. Your, let me see your belly, Liz. Hold up the belly. Oh, it's full. She's got a big <laughs> belly. She's such a little nugget. So as you guys know, the Lambo is like kind of a crazy car and it kind of is always having problems. And so this next time that I was driving was no exception. As I was driving around town, it started making a squeaking noise coming out of the clutch, which could be a huge problem because if the clutch has a problem, that could be up to an $80,000 cost just to repair that problem. And so I gave Lamborghini of Beverly Hills a call and asked him, hey, what do you think this is? And can you take a look at it? And hopefully it's not a problem. So they came with the truck, they picked it up in a super fancy hauler and off it goes. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything is gonna be okay and it's not like a huge cost. Now it's time to say bye to the Lambo guys, but it's only gonna be for a week because we were sending it to the new house the only thing is, I'm just not sure if it's gonna fit on this truck. All right, here it goes under the trailer. So close, so tight. All right, Carter, we're shipping you out. <laughs> uh, this is easy. Come on, Tasha, I had to climb over the roof and go through the window. Literally had to slide. The guy couldn't fit, so I physically had to do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at how tight that is. That's scary driving in. <laughs> Woo, Carter's life. Everything is being destroyed. I don't know what's happening or what kind of karma I'm in right now, but you guys know a lot of bad luck with the Countach. And unfortunately, again, it got destroyed. And if you guys don't know about the Countach, this is it. It's one of my dream cars. I've had it for a while and it has been nothing but problems, guys. This car has been destroyed many times. The first of which is when Matt was driving it and accidentally smashed it into a tree and caused tens of thousands of dollars of damage. It took a long time and a lot of money, but we got it fixed. After that, I went to go pick it up and the very first day of me picking up, it almost caught on fire. I was stuck in the middle of traffic. Everything was smoking. I barely got this thing home in one piece, but I did and we fixed it yet again. And now that I got this Lamborghini home, it is time to ship it off to the new Timor house where it can finally live the rest of its life. The transporter is here to pick up the car and this is what happened. But who knows how to drive this thing? Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Um, I can try. Oh boy. Wait, in it? <laughs> oh, it's Josh. <laughs> when did you get here? It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. No, it's no, you're good. No. Oh my god, that's you're good. so scary. No way. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, you're good. It's no. literally like a centimeter. What? <laughs> it's a 
that just happened? Was that real life? How is that possible? No. So after 10 minutes, he got the key out. That literally took Andrew 10 minutes to take the key out of the car. <laughs> it was like literally 10 <laughs> seconds. Call Carter and tell him that something happened to it. Should we call him right now? <laughs> Because he's not here. Oh, the bumper fell off. And Carter, it scraped really bad. The whole like, thing just fell off. So Josh, like, was so sure it was going to clear and just, like, went for it. Josh just floored it out of the driveway. No, we Slammed into Ethan's <laughs> car. Yeah. Be like it got stuck in gear, like it just kept going. Right. <laughs> it should be like Matt, like, jumped in front trying to push it back. Try it. Hey. So, um, Josh couldn't make it, so we just tried to roll the Countach down the driveway and it like literally scrapes the bottom of the front because it wouldn't really start and Josh wasn't able to make it in time for the tow truck. Bumper's like gone. Andrew, okay. Andrew just said the bumper, the bumper is not gone, it's just really scraped up. What do you, what do you mean? Why would the bumper be gone? He's exaggerating. The bottom got scraped. The bumper is not gone. Andrew, don't scare him like that. The bottom is just... Can photo? Yeah. We'll send a photo. Did you get it through or is it sitting on the driveway? It's like hanging on. It's like, it's in the road now. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what the piece is called. What is that part called? You guys broke it, is what you're saying. It's not that bad. It's just scraped. So I think it has to go back to Josh's shop. <laughs> so bad. I don't understand. You rolled it down the driveway with speed. No, no, it wasn't with speed. It wouldn't start. So Andrew had the great idea to just roll it down the driveway. Well, why wouldn't it start? Why wouldn't it start, Andrew? I couldn't uh, turn the key. He literally took 10 minutes trying to get the key out of it, first of all. Well, just give me a call. I mean, it, it definitely starts. You turn the key, you know, and it starts. There might be a thing you have to push or something. He literally couldn't get the key out either. But we're handling it, but I just wanted to let you know. Well, I don't understand how you guys damaged it. <laughs> Right, Everything's really fine, okay, we're done. Yeah, Literally fine. nothing I mean, is wrong. We're just messing Elena, with you. Elena had the brilliant idea of calling you and telling you we messed it up. It's fine. Nothing happened at all. <laughs> <laughs> he believed it! <laughs> <laughs> Sweat out here that you guys are <laughs> yes. I, I could tell from your voice, I was like, yeah, no, this isn't a funny prank anymore. He actually believes it. They were like, he's <laughs> he not gonna believe believed. it, whatever. Okay, so anyways, yeah. real update it. It's too realistic. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, they're not gonna believe you if you try to prank them for a bit. I was like, <laughs> What? Should they believe me? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, everything's fine. So the tow truck will be here in an hour and Josh will load it onto the truck. Yeah, I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, guys, that was insane. I'm literally on my way to Palm Springs for a birthday party and I get the call and Elena was literally telling me that the car broke or they got it smashed. It has to go back to the shop. I was literally sweating and it was not funny to me at all because this car is literally cursed. It's always getting wrecked and destroyed. And so I believed it 100%. So the Countach is getting picked up. I'm not sure about this one. The tow truck is in the middle of a main road, and I'm not even sure if the And it's rush can, hour. It's rush hour in Los Angeles. I'm not even sure the car can make it that far. Oh boy. This is a sketchy way to turn out. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh no. my. Wait, why is it so. What? Oh He's stopped in the middle. Is this crazy? Yeah. Oh, we got a ball pit ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like a mile from the house. I'll pick it up. Don't worry. I got it. This is actually, we're in the middle of a highway, practically. This is sketchy. What is going on? So the Countach right there has to go into the truck. Oh my God. It's literally Friday night rush hour. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. So they're measuring the car because they say it's not going to fit. We're literally in the middle of the highway measuring with a tape measure on the road how long this car is. So they're climbing inside the trailer right now. Okay. I, don't <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It looks fun. I want to do that. It does kind of look fun. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but at the same time, they're doing it in traffic. In one of the I'm literally the busiest roads. road in LA. They're literally measuring the car right now to see if it's gonna fit into this giant trailer. Guys, there's so much room in there. It's gotta fit. So the truck 
The truck is transforming right now. <laughs> And the nightmare continues. I thought everything was good with the Countach. It was all loaded up and it was on its way to the Timur house. But upon arrival, it arrived super late at night. Matt was there to take the delivery and pulling it off the truck, he found out that the car got destroyed again. I don't know how it's possible. I don't know what is going on, but I got text really late and Matt was saying that the car is not running right. It's smoking really bad and the wheel is broken. The control arm broke and snapped and the wheel almost fell off. It took him about an hour just to take the car off the truck and stick it in the garage where it could be safe and sound. And as soon as he pulled it in the garage, he turned around and the truck transporter booked it out of there. Probably because he knows that he wrecked this car by accident. It didn't want to pay for it. And now I'm stuck with a Countach that is broken yet again. Guys, I haven't even driven it one mile since I put tens and tens of thousands of dollars into this thing. I don't know like what to do. This thing is crazy. It's one of the most difficult cars to work on. It's so expensive and it's always broken and I don't know why. Anyways guys, this episode is all about destruction and I'm watching over my back because I'm afraid something else is gonna get destroyed. Oh, it's so clean. Did you paint the whole thing? Almost, so we painted front to the back of the door. Yeah. And then blended and then we color sand the entire, we painted all this stuff. All the black. Oh, got all black. Oh, you put these back that. on. <laughs> Yo. I, I've never seen it with these on. It looks so, it's never been this clean. These were on before, but they were silver. I'm pretty sure this was silver. We repainted all the trim everywhere. It's black, it's all brand new. Wow. So it used to be chipped metal. On, oh yeah. On all the trim. It's extra clean. Repainted your side. Oh, you got the logo back on? Yes. Oh my painted gosh. Those vents. Yep. Oh man, guys, this thing is like showroom. Look at the lights reflecting off this. Woo! And you guys thought that I sold it because I was planning on selling it, but now that it's this clean, I might not be able to sell it, guys. This is so nice. But remember, this whole chunk. Oh, yeah, dude, I forgot about that. Yeah, this was all That's gone. why we brought it here. Yeah. <laughs> this was completely wrecked. We'll have to show it like before and after photos because Matt drove it into a tree. Oh! Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, Josh's guys rebuilt this by hand. They hand sculpted it to make it look like that. Oh man, that's crazy. That's yeah, because you can't, it's not a piece you buy. They had to sculpt this with their hands and fiberglass and they got all the edges. Wow. Guys, that is, it looks like, how do you even do, dude, they got the edge and everything. Wow, this is sick. That fiberglass is just unbelievable. I can't believe they, that was possible, yeah. I don't know, that's really impressive work, guys. Oh yeah, the door actually goes up and it's not gonna fall, that's great. This little hinge piece right here that holds it up was losing pressure, so now it's great. Yeah, this is great. I'm sitting in this thing for the first time, guys. All right, we're gassing up. We're going for the official cold start on the uh, the brand new looking Countach. Here we go. Make sure it's in uh, neutral this time. Sheesh. That thing hit hard. Sounding good, yes. Can't wait to try driving this thing, guys. Oh man, guys, it's so clean. You can see the sky reflection in it. Sounds so mean. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if it's gonna scrape. That's the real question. I bet it, I think it might be okay. Oh, it's getting real close now, guys. Real close. This thing's hard to drive because it's so low. Guys, the traffic is crazy out here. They're basically coming right up on it. Woo, this is gonna be challenging. It's hard backing out of here, especially this car. I think we have a clear spot. Yeah. Guys, that corner is gonna touch, I think. Here we go. He got this wheel on the, oh, he made it without even touching the new paint. Yes. That is scary. So that's what we're gonna be up against because we are here to drive this thing all the way back to the team our house, guys, from Electra Motors. It feels so clean and light compared to driving the tank. Okay. I can just see it. Easy, it's gonna be easy compared to the Unimod. It's gonna be fast. Our brakes are gonna work. These guys have got, they're road tripping, guys. Yeah. It looks so good. Guys, I don't think I can sell it now. It just looks so good. I was gonna sell it because I didn't like it. It had issues and then Matt crashed it. But now it just is perfect. It's clean. I'm excited to drive it. And if it drives well and I feel like I can drive without scraping every left turn I make, you know, guys, it might be, it's just so good. It really is 
one of my favorite cars of all time, if not my favorite supercar of all time. The Aventador is amazing too. There's something about this older classic Countach that I just, I really just love so much. Nothing like it on the road, one of a kind. I love the wing, oh my gosh. You did it. That's crazy. There you go. Oh, burnout. Nice. That dude's got a backpack, a helmet on. He's ready to rip right out. He just, he, he went inside, built it out of you know, hardware. <laughs> he built it in the store and drove out with it. Woo! Yes, guys, I love the little road trippers. We gotta bring the little pocket bikes out. Yeah. All right, so we're in the Countach, guys. It's been a long time since I've been behind the wheel. We got a road trip ahead of us, so I'm a little nervous. This is kind of like a lounge chair. It's not, not too. It's very loungy. You don't really, <laughs> I don't really fit. I kind of like touch the ceiling, but you know, I do fit. I mean, but let's start and see how that AC helps. That's what I'm saying, dude. It dies when you run the AC. It's dead. Is the AC on right now? No, but it was. It just drains the battery. Dang it. Can turn it off. Josh is over there like, what? It's dead. When you run the AC, it dies. So this is part of what's crazy about the car is something's not right with the way that it charges the battery. So when you run too many things like the AC and it's running, it doesn't charge and it actually drains the battery. And so now it's dead and we didn't even drive it. It was just sitting here idling with the AC on and it doesn't, doesn't crank. So that's part of what's stressful is that I, I need the AC because it's hot and because of the shape of the window, so much heat, so much sunlight gets in here. We got it started. We had to put the jumper box on it. And if I turn the AC on, which, you know, it's hot, I got to turn the AC on. It's just going to kill the battery. All uh, right, take two. We put a new battery in here. We heard something like make a crazy noise and then the voltage dropped and then we saw it smoking. Is it possible that alternator just blew out? I mean, I smelled something. I smelled. Did you see the smoke? It started yeah. making a weird sound. I heard it. it I wonder if the alternator just popped. Jeez. Oh man. We'll probably just get off. Let's, let's, uh, we could Yui and head right back. I don't know what smoked, but yeah, the voltage I dropped. The wire, so the wires melted right there. The wire. No, it looks like you're there. Hang on a sec, let me start it. Let me see if it works. I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. You gonna try and jump it and see if the smoke yeah. comes out again? Guys, uh, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad, guys. Look at this. So we're gonna try to jump it now. Because a pit just, I mean, a drain to fresh bad. We got some electrical thing. The amount of power consumption that's happening inside this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get it started. Hopefully it doesn't smoke too much. Make sure, if we learned anything, make sure it's in neutral. Oh my gosh. Neutral. All right, sounds good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is bad. Yeah, or something behind it possibly. Maybe it's the belt? The belt? Could the belt be rubbing? Oh, it is the belt. The alternator seized up. Look at the belt, it's like melting. Is it? You see all that like melted rubber on there? I can do a quick crank and just see if that pulley yeah. is rolling. Yeah. Good, good. So the alternator is seized. So uh, you can't sure. it off. Nothing will work if you do that. So we 
have to live with burning the bell. So we'll just burn it back to the shop and we'll give you a new one to get that. It's just sketchy to be burning it. It is. Yeah, you're melting rock. Oh man, guys, this is intense. The good thing is, the only thing that'll be damaged is really the belt. The pulleys will be fine. They're gonna get melted rubber on them, but they'll be fine. They're metal. You use the rope? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up, oh, bro? hey. It broke down. We're stuck in the middle of the road right now. All right, bro. Peace. Uh, this is why this car is sketchy. It's but always something. <laughs> this is going to be so sketchy. It is. All right. Get ready. Uh, we're going to be doing something. Here you go. It's going to turn green in a second here. Should I start it? Yeah. All right, we're started. All right, we're in gear. Smoking. Oh, we're starting to slow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. There's the light. Gosh, this is so easy to smoke out of the Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Doors open. We're gonna just be smoking the whole way back. This is so bad. Oh dude, we're coming out the smoke up here. Oh no. Oh! We're smoking inside. This is bad. Yo, this thing's gonna blow up right now. We got oh! so smoking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh. Jeez so Louise, bro. I should probably like try to not rub it so high. Keep it in the high gear. Oh yo, this is go watch it more. Smoky Kumpach. Almost there. I think it's right behind that white truck. Is it after this light or before? Shoot. It's after this light. light. Alright guys, I think the smoke is actually stopped. We might, have, we might be powering through it. The belt might have broken off. Maybe the maybe we're rolling again. What was that? Your attendance? I'm a, little worried, I'm a little worried about that noise. I could have hit the bill just falling off. The smoke has died down. Cops are coming. Cops are coming for us. I don't know if they're behind us or in front of us. I got no idea. Alright, electrum's coming up. That's right here. We got it. Yeah, this is it. Woo! We made it. Woo! Oh, we made it. Scrape with the <laughs> I know, <man. laughs> Woo! Yo, we were smoking out the vents on the inside of the car. Yeah, there's blowing smoke inside. We didn't even have the AC on, I had it off. Is the belt still on? I think. I can't tell, honestly. Yeah. It did stop smoking. Oh, the belt's gone. The belt's we heard gone. the belt fall. Yeah, out, dude. yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it fall. We, we heard like a noise. little something. Yeah. Just kind of like we ran over a little thing. That a piece came out? This goes in the back. It's a guide for the uh, very uh, the alternator. That's what we were hearing, maybe. Yeah. So that that thing popped out. So it's a, it's like a it's a pilot berry. So it guides the shaft. Guys, that popped straight. out. Yeah. There's the belt, guys. Just completely smoked out. Yeah, guys, look at that. Completely just blown out. So we drove the Unimog. The Countach is looking great, but something with the alternator blew out. I think it was a faulty alternator. So we're gonna have to fix that. So we can't drive that. So I think we're gonna have to drive this thing, guys. It's like a 1920, one of the original first cars ever produced. And it's not even called a car, it's called a horseless carriage. This is actually came out before cars were even invented. And you can just see it's literally a horse carriage. But there's no horse, you just drive it because there is a motor, I guess like in the back, and here's the horn maybe. Oh, that's hilarious. This is the steering wheel. Before steering wheels were invented, they just had a handle. You just steer left and right. It's kind of like a wagon. It's got more like bike tire looking wheels on it. There is a gas pedal. Here's the lantern. I think it's an actual oil lamp. Well, they might have retrofitted electricity in there, but back in the day, you would literally like, it's like a candle basically. That's how you had headlights. And this is an original car before cars were invented. People were driving these around. It's crazy. Now, I don't think that goes faster than 20 miles an hour, so there's no way we're taking that on the highway. But that'd be fun to drive. I mean, the engine is what, like under here? Oh, the engine's down in there somewhere. Tiny little engine. This thing is sick. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I didn't realize this thing had a horn until I see that there's a horn right there. And I just pushed it. No way, this thing is bizarre. Here we go. What is that? that? That's funny, but that's the kind of horn I need on the Unimog. Yeah. We need a switch. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. 
That can't be right. Is that working right? I feel like it's not resonating the right way. That is weird. That's a weird horn. That is so bizarre. This car, I'm telling you, is full of surprises. It's the car that keeps on giving all these issues. It's just one thing after another, but that's what Lamborghinis, especially old ones, are all about. But it makes for good content. I'm making great episodes. I'm not stressed about it because it's, you know, it's kind of fun to figure it out. And one day this thing is going to be amazing. It's going to be daily driving it. We're going to be ripping it all over town. It's going to be awesome. But, you know, we just basically slowly and surely just kind of making it better than it ever was originally. So that's great. Pushing the Countach back in the garage. So it turns out faulty alternator at least was the first of the issues. Once that came out, smoking happened, all that kind of stuff. So we're trying to put that back in and see if that works. I still think it might need a little bit more extra like current to charge all the fans and the AC and everything like that, but we're not gonna until we get new parts for it. We're locking up here at Electro Motors. Woo! It's another day. We just got to the first stop, guys. The Lambo is looking sick, and in the sunlight, you can even see the, the rainbow sparkles coming out. But what's even cooler is there are so many awesome cars here. Check it out, guys. The whole lineup, just about every car you can think of. That's like the new Corvette. We got this sick Mercedes. We got McLaren. We got this purple Ferrari. I think this is Liz's favorite. I love the color of this GT3 RS. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. Look at the color on this. Check this thing out. Four-door Jeep truck. The Gladiator. I gotta say, after seeing all those sports cars, I'm always a sucker for a lifted truck with some sick suspension. This thing is awesome. I wonder if they're gonna take this to the track. It does have the sticker on it. There she is. We got the little chin strap over here. Hey, chin strap. Hold your little chin strap down. And holds my chin up. So guys, we are going to be starting this rally soon where we're driving out to the Thermal Club for ultimate track day. It is gonna be literally so much fun. Guys, I've never done a rally where we all drive together in a whole group of awesome cars. So I'm like nervous. I don't know. pit stop guys we got all the cars fueling up even this one my favorite the monster jeep right here this thing is sick i didn't see this one on the road but i was driving with all the other lambos and i gotta say the one that really caught my attention the most is not the corvette it's not the green lambo but this one is so crazy this one looks so cool that's amazing guys just look at this chrome Got it on the wheels too. That is one of the coolest color cars I've ever seen. So amazing. But I do love a green Lambo too. Look at the monster truck. It's gonna crush us. This thing is literally, we're sitting lower than the tires on that guy. What? Okay, where are the last ones again? They left us. It's okay, we'll catch up. You're in a Lambo. I know, but then you gotta drive. <laughs> I'm not the fastest driver out here. You're not. I'm the safest driver. <laughs> That's why we're always last. Coming in for a landing, we got this airplane. Ooh, it's like someone's private jet flying. Wow, that is sick. We got all the Lambos lined up. Boom, 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 boom. Woo! We got the casita. Ooh, very nice. What do you think? So nice. We got tall ceilings, little tour. Ooh, that's a really cool looking shower. I think this is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. What do you think? You got us just like poop nuggets. Poop nuggets? So I got this mask. It's an off-white mask, and off-white is known to have these like crazy cool tags. But this tag is legit like bigger than the mask. So if I were to like put this on, you know, you're not really supposed to take the tags off like when you have like an off-white thing, like you leave them on the shoes and stuff. But with the mask, I mean, I, you can't possibly walk around, so I'm gonna have to take it off. Got it, okay. That's so sad, but that tag had to go. 
Liz's final look with the hoodie. You gotta pull it up a little bit. Show them what you got underneath. You got the pink, ooh, with the Balenciaga the shoes. I got the whole, the whole green fit going on. And uh, we're gonna go out and then we'll be on to day number two where we actually get to race the car on the track. I'm so excited. You ready for dinner? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Good morning, it is day two here at the Thermal Club for Ultimate Track Day. And today is the track day, so I am super hyped. Look at where we are, guys. The view of the mountains is just like incredible. It's so amazing. We got the Aventador sitting out here, and I'm a little bit anxious to see if she'll start because I've had issues with it in the past. I mean, the issue should be like fixed by now, but you know, you never know. And if we have an issue all the way out here, it's just gonna be a huge headache trying to get back. It says we got low tire pressure on the one wheel, so we'll have to top that up. I didn't do that on purpose, I got scared. But... You paid over $500,000 for this, it doesn't have a cup holder, and you don't know if it's gonna start or not. Well, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> Here's the Lambo that was in the garage. It's a full race car Lambo. We got some rolling shots going on with this Ferrari. Oh man, that thing is sick. Look at that. And then here goes the race car Lambo. ripping down the racetrack. So we actually are getting set up to go on the racetrack right now. We're doing rolling shots. I'm super excited. I've never been on a racetrack with the Aventador. All right, we are going. We got a McLaren. I don't know which one it is. I can't tell from the back. We are cutting on to the racetrack right now. I'm so excited. We're doing it. We're literally pulling on to the racetrack right now as we speak. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, there are a ton of cool cars here. So it turns out we actually need to have uh, helmets on. So let's see what Liz looks like with a race car helmet. This thing is cool. Oh my gosh, is it gonna fit in the car? I don't know if I'm gonna fit in the car with a helmet on. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> We're at a school shooting. Yeah, mine has a mic. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. How's it going check. out there, brother? You ready? Yeah. Nice ride, man. All right, so the track is getting, uh, it's cooling down, so everybody's exiting off the track. So please hang tight over here. As soon as I get everybody to exit pit lane, I'm going to start sending you guys in, okay? Okay. So probably another two to three minutes. So who am I going to be following? Just the person in front of Follow me? Follow the person in front. Uh, and make sure your you know your temperatures are operational, so don't turn off your car. Yeah. Get the oil temperatures up, so you don't have, run into any issues out there. Okay. And then how many laps total are we doing? Uh, Thirty minutes, I would say probably you know 20, 30 laps is a lot. <laughs> You're okay. probably gonna be like, I'm tired at the end of this. Yeah. You know? Carter, I thought we were just doing one lap. I thought we were doing maybe like five. We're doing thirty minutes. <laughs> we're doing like thirty gonna, laps. It's gonna be exhausting. I uh, think we might have to pull off early. Uh, <laughs> wow. Carter, we're there such there back of the packs. We are such losers out here. We are. We're literally millies. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah, this is going to be crazy. So you're going to pull up right behind that gray 911 or the uh, the R8. Just follow him down, okay? Just go out there, have fun, man. He's going to be part of your group, okay? Great, thanks, man. Cheers, brother. Absolutely. All right, let's hit the track. Bye-bye. I don't know if I'm more nervous or more excited. <laughs> you know, like, I'm kind of nervous. No, at this age. What do you mean at this age? At this age of what? You just get nauseous. You don't get excited anymore. I'm not saying nauseous. I'm saying nervous. I am excited. You're but I'm nauseous? also like, what if I can't drive, keep up? That's, that means you don't deserve this Lambo. You oh, have no. to return it. I'll have to, drive, I'll have to daily the smart car if I can't keep up. <laughs> you get demoted to the smart car. Yeah. <gasps> Carter, we're going. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm nervous. <gasps> You're nervous. I'm nervous. I'm Why? Driving. I'm the one driving. True. You're driving the, the camera. 
<gasps> Sorry, it's about to go, and then it's us, and then it's go time, baby. Okay. For any of you guys who want to be race car drivers, you guys have to this follow is scary. your dreams. Follow your dreams. Liz, I never thought I'd be a race car driver. What is this car doing? Quarter. He's doing little, little squigglies. The guy behind us is doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, we're about to go on the track, Liz! I'm scared! I'm literally scared. I'm scared. Ah! sick out there. <laughs> it felt like flying in one of those airplanes that we did and I got so car sick because we were going pretty fast. Pulling a lot of G's, I'm not used to it. I'm currently finding myself off-roading a Lamborghini Huracan in the mountains of Malibu and uh, it, this really wasn't as good of an idea as I thought. We're either gonna get stuck or we might get like in trouble because we went past a lot of no trespassing signs and this thing uh, is scraping on everything. But uh, stay tuned for this episode and figure out how we got into this mess and how we are gonna get out. All right, well, we are way up here again in the mountains of Malibu. And we are so deep on this like single lane road that we found and it turns to dirt for a few more miles. So that we means got we, lost. Yeah, we're basically lost. But I think we, you know, we had just enough service to see that I think we're gonna be able to connect it back around. But we had to go off-roading oh with the Lambo. Yeah, these things are four-wheel drive, so we should be okay. Oh my gosh, there's like rocks and stuff. Okay, maybe it's a bad idea. Are we like dragging? No. Oh, it's because of the... The brush is The brush. Oh my gosh, Carter. <laughs> what if we get stuck in the service? I know. Whatever. We were just... I mean, I got the lift up oh and everything. Oh my gosh, there's so many rocks, Carter. Okay, maybe we should just turn around. Well, come to think of it, we well, I don't know. We can't. We can't turn around. Because how would we turn around? Why did I say that was a good idea? I mean, this is fun. All right, we're just gonna take a minute to just see how we're doing. We have the uh, Lambo ow, ow. way up here in the mountains. I don't know how much further we're gonna go, and I honestly don't know if we're gonna make it. But we are definitely rubbing on everything. And you know, these cars get hot. I wouldn't want to start like a fire or something. I think we're gonna be okay, but I mean, this is sketch. I mean, I'm always finding myself in some scenario. <laughs> what are you doing, Liz? I'm stepping on it so that we don't run over it. All right, well, I'm gonna grab a thumbnail real quick. Like that. Thumbnail. Guys, it is so beautiful out here. Check this out. Carter's taking the Lambo up. And, um, uh oh. He's kind of going quick. Carter! Oh my gosh! What the heck? You're not supposed to go in there. Oh my gosh. Carter! <laughs> Wait for me. He's leaving without me! He almost abandoned me out here. I wouldn't be upset, but... Uh, Carter, I don't think we should be on this road with the Lambo, but... <sighs> Whatever. Alright, we're just gonna keep going. This is so crazy. This is crazy. Why do we do this again? Just because it's this is fun. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's, it's so life. it's so fun. Welcome oh to my gosh, life. Carter. It gets so crazy. What the heck are we doing? Oh, oh. oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. I think you oh, no. I think you ran over something. Yeah. <laughs> I think so too. Oh, oh my god. We're oh Carter, my gosh. You are going like 30 Because we're not gonna make it through this. We're not gonna make it through this. I know. We should just turn around. But I can't. 
I don't want to. I don't understand where it goes, though. Like, how much longer is this road? I don't know, like a mile? A mile? Yeah. You did not say that. You were like, oh yeah, it just connects. And I thought it was like five feet, and you're like, well, I don't need to It just connects. <laughs> how much longer of this, for real, for real? I don't actually know. Oh my god. I thought you checked. I know, but I just... Even, like, a Jeep would have trouble doing this. <laughs> I know, but we're in a four-wheel And now we're in a freaking Lambo doing this. Four-wheel drive. This. But seriously, how much further? Because yeah, I might actually, have to call it AAA if we pop. We don't have service. Carter, 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 Carter. I, oh like, legitimately gosh. just, like... Well, I don't know what to do. Let me look at the map, because I'm starting to get a little worried, too. Oh, it'll be fun. Just bring the Lambo out there and on oh, wait, the dirt road. Well, we're here, oh and we go around to there. Is it and then it goes to Cawthorne, and then Cawthorne okay, goes all the way. Cawthorne, no, Cawthorne's pretty bad. Oh my gosh, we're out of the weeds, finally. Right, finally! So out of the weeds. We're out of the weeds, but we're still on the mountain. But our tires are fine. I don't really think we even got too dirty. I really kind of wish we went further. Is he parked? Oh wait, no, he's oh off. He God. fell off the road. Oh my gosh, that's a nice truck. I thought he maybe parked like that. Yeah. Not even off the road, guys. That is so. He probably just tried to pull off the road and didn't realize it was like a deep ditch and just fell. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go check that out. That's crazy. Oh wait, this is the tow truck for him. Guys, I think this might be the tow truck. This must have just happened. This is wild. What are the chances? And all this time, Liz are just trying to go to Pacific Palisades to look at a new apartment. Aww. This is crazy. This guy's trying hard not to fall off the road. Shout out to Tow World trying to get this mess. I feel like this car's gotta be damaged. I mean, guys, look at this. It went so deep down in there. I mean, even the tow truck guy says this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Did you try parking and you went off, or? No, there was people everywhere. Yeah. And I just pulled out of there. Yeah. And I didn't have my seatbelt on. I was just distracted, like. Yeah. Grabbed my seatbelt, like looked away, and there was people pulled over here. So you just kind of went wide on I the turn. Got, yeah, I just went a little wide and slid off. I mean, oh my god. You hit the white line, you're going over. That's, That's what really I was sketchy. doing like three miles an hour. What if you uh, pull it like this? You know, like this way. Yeah. It's a very nice Toyota Tundra TRD 4x4. Look, look, look. Cool? Yeah, this is gonna be bad. I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull that truck out and have it drive. Alright, guys, it's all hooked up. Moment of truth. Let's see if it's gonna come out. <gasps> oh, it's going. Don't break it too bad. Oh my gosh, it's working. I mean, it's moving. It's good, it's good. Yeah. That, that part of the car right there is dragging and etching. Yeah. I wonder what the other side of the truck looks like. I wonder how hard he like came down, if he crunched the door. I mean, it looks like it's just fine. Here we go again. Oh my God. Oh. I'm excited to see if this thing will drive away. I think it looks like it's... It, it will. Yeah. I think it will. Oh, he's good now. Yeah. Yeah, you're on. You're good. Guys, I think the truck is fine after all of that. There's not even a scratch on this other side. Well, a little bit, I guess. Wow, I'm shook. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, we gotta keep driving. Make sure our car is okay. We might be calling this guy. We almost had to call him a minute ago. All right, man. Well, best of luck. <laughs> yeah, that's that crazy. Hopefully, it makes it down the mountain. I think you lucked yeah. out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Carter's Life. This one was pretty crazy. We did all of everything you just saw pretty much in real time. In uh, I don't know, an hour and a half, two. And uh, we'll probably end up finding something else before we even get back home to our little sandbox <laughs> on the beach. Oh See you guys. Say bye, Liz. Bye!